Hello and welcome back. We are going to talk about style and showers and how they impact um, manufactured homes. So let me go to an, a page here for you where I can show you a little bit more. So here's the suspect shower. Um, a lot of people don't realize that from a movement standpoint, uh, technically your, your mobile homes, depending on the type of soil and how it was set up and the area as far as water table, um, you know, seismic activity, a bunch of other different things that go along with that soil type, um, you're going to have movement of mobile homes. In fact, actually, uh, technically they're, they're actually suggested to be re-leveled every uh, two to three years. So uh, and then also, if you're in a high water table area, or you had a real moist, um, you know, a lot of, of moisture over winter months and into your spring, you're going to have a lot of movement as well. And so on our repair side of our business, we get a lot of calls during wet seasons or when we've had some seismic activity because we're we're in the the mountain ranges. Uh, so we do have seismic activity, plus also when we have our spring runoff, uh, after a pretty aggressive snowfall all throughout the winter time, uh, we we start getting a lot of calls because the water table rises. Uh, based off of the different types of soils that we have in our area, uh, we get a lot of calls for re-leveling. And the same thing happens in a lot of other areas uh, throughout the the country as well. So, tile is not normally uh, the the preferred uh, option, especially on a floor. <laughs> um, a lot of people will install. Uh, tile flooring into a space like this just mostly because of the dimensions uh, this was a 54 I believe by 32 or 30 might have been 30 wide um, and trying to find a pan that fits those dimensions uh, as well as also being able to find sides that can can fit that dimension is is pretty uh, difficult especially since post-COVID so what essentially happened here is um, with the movement of, well, what ended up happening is, she, as you can see, there's cracks that have taken place over time uh, in this shower, to stall shower in a mobile home, a uh, 70s era mobile home. And over time, what ended up happening is this pulled away and it became uh, a situation where water was getting in underneath all of this. Okay. And eventually it uh, started to seep in under there, rotted away from and pulled away from the drain. And so she basically was sitting in here floating, uh, if you will. It, it leached through on the other side. So directly on this side is that shower floor. Uh, and this is the opposite side of that, um, directly on the opposite side. This is a bedroom where all of this was soft. Uh, as you can see, there's been water damage up into these areas as well. And so um, definitely water has been getting through quite a bit there, um, as well as, you know, this is also a, this is the bottom of her vanity door uh, that was all water wicked. And actually the flooring, the tile flooring in actually the bathroom, not even in the shower, um, had bowed because of how much water. If we had another shot back in this corner, this is all water damaged as well. So this whole area, the 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 shower leaking actually got into the subfloor, everything, and was just causing wreaking havoc um, on the scenario. So uh, what you end up seeing here is the rest of the shower. You can see that there's been mold that's been up here because of the moisture that's just been sitting in here. When she's done with her shower, it just sits there and then goes up onto the ceiling, okay? Um, you have scenarios here, like you can see, you can see a slight bow there, okay? Um, the, it, obviously a very narrow, small space that she had. Uh, this bowed, and you can actually see a little bit of what I was showing you there on that door, the vanity door. It was going behind here into that bedroom, and then it was also going off into this direction, uh, into the laundry area that, that backs up to this as well. Uh, pretty common things that you end up seeing with uh, a tile shower, unfortunately, in this kind of setup. Um, there was a lot of you know, it could have been a flaws with the installation if they didn't put the pan, set the pan correctly, if they didn't install the, the tile correctly, if they didn't install uh, the, the plumbing correctly. 
Uh, all those things could have ended up causing additional factors with this and adding to it. Um, this is actually the final product. Let me go to this though. Once we tore out the tile there, um, this is what the result was. As you can see, tons and tons and tons of rot. That was actually the drain, okay? Uh, the water was just, just getting in there and seeping up the walls. Um, so we tore all of this out, tore out. So this is the, the sill plate for the floor, or sorry, for the walls. That was all destroyed. We had to reblock that, rebuild that, put in new connection points, put in new bracing here, put in new, new base on here. Um, because we were converting it from a shower to a, uh, a tub shower combo, we redid the valves here and new connection points. Uh, we ended up pulling this off and then treating this as well. Um, and then putting back in a surround like this. So this wasn't treated yet. Uh, a surround like that. It's a five piece. So we put in a new tub, finished it off real nice for her. Um, we had uh, just based off of the height of the typical standard uh, surround for a shower tub combo. Uh, didn't go as high as the tile had, so we ended up finishing off with this up here for her. And then we came back and sealed this in. We've had a nice stopper in here, new trim kit, valve kit for her. Uh, and she didn't have a huge budget, but this was the kind of scenario where, um, you know, somebody had just been sitting in a scenario where it was toxic, absolutely toxic and not being um, addressed. And it, it'll cause, start to cause, as you can see, it started to cause more, more additional issues uh, throughout the home. And so the big thing is, is just being able to stop that uh, from continuing to occur, fix it bring it back to a healthier standard, put new good material in there that's going to last a long time and, you know, go move, move forward from there. So a lot of times when you are evaluating manufactured homes, um, what you're definitely going to be looking for is, is there tile in the shower? Is there a crack uh, in the base of the fiberglass tub? Um, what is there mold up top or moisture looking like it's accumulating in there and staying in there? Originally, I was wondering if it might have been ventilation, but based off of what I saw behind there and underneath, it was definitely water just sitting in there. So your tile bases, your uh, for showers, as well as also um, any of your fiberglass tubs, a lot of your fiberglass tubs will break down as well. We just had a situation where somebody had uh, put down some some glue, if you will, um, and tried to seal it. It was a horrible seal. The reality is, is that it was leaking through on this fiberglass tub, and it was the same kind of result where there was a bunch of water damage that had, had occurred uh, due to the fiberglass tub having broken down, had cracked. Um, if it's not braced correctly, if it's not installed correctly, uh, it's going to have issues. The other thing is, like I said, is your your manufactured homes do move depending especially depending on the area and the type of season that you're in and what's going to happen is these these types of things will over time break down if they're not uh, maintained and or fixed or the correct materials are put in so hopefully you found this uh, short little video about some things to look for that can turn into a lot more expensive uh, uh, repairs over time, uh, beneficial to you, and you can go ahead and use this in your manufactured home business. Make it a great day.